Hi and welcome, welcome. This week's video, two holiday makeup looks to try this year. I'm going for the old school Hollywood glam and I'm also doing jewel toned eyes, both of which super popular, big trends for 2021 holiday. And I thought it would be kind of cool if I did this video in a way where I record twice, but as I'm editing, I'm going to split the screen. And so you can see Hollywood glam on one side, jewel toned eyes on the other, watch the process unfold, and then you can determine which look you wanna go for, or you can re-reference the video, maybe do Hollywood for one event and jewel tone for another, and that way you'll see both of them happening in tandem as we move forward. Some of the products I will keep the same, things like foundation, um, powders and whatnot. The differences will be in the eyeshadow colors and lipstick especially. And of course, every product will be listed in the description portion below. I'll have them listed under each Look, so it'll be easy for you to find. So let's get the party started. Here are your two holiday makeup looks to go for this year. Okay, starting with the NARS Soft Matte Primer for both looks. Following it up with Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion for the eyelids. So just like on the Hollywood Glam side with jewel toned eyes, like I said, still using the same foundation, Lawless Conceal the Deal. Applied with the Lawless Foundation Brush. Down the neck and to the chest to make everything match. Don't forget your ears if your hair is pulled away from your face. Still my favorite all-time brow tint pen is NYX Lift and Snatch in Espresso. Thick, bold, full brows, still very much in. So you can add a little extra definition and drama in this area. This is still my favorite eyebrow tint pen because it allows you the precision of drawing in hair-like strokes, which makes it seem very natural looking. The eyeshadow look will be very different between these two. For the old Hollywood glam, the focus will be on the lip. Eyeshadow is actually going to be very sparkly, shimmery, but very pale and very, very light. I will use the same palette, Violet Voss, All of You Forever, using these colors. And the biggest difference in this look, since I'm going for jewel toned eyes, instead of focusing on those two, I'm now gonna play into all the different green shades that we have going on in this Violet Voss palette. I'm going to start with All of Me, which is top left on my lid. So for this look, I'm going for these two colors, Major Spotlight and Lovebird, which is sort of a white and a pinky peach. Start with Lovebird first and I'm carrying it practically all the way up. Now to really bring in some of that green, I'm using this olive glow that's gonna go on the inner corner and the outside. Now I'm gonna go in and use Major Spotlight, which is the white one for the inner corner and the brow highlight. I will blend and swirl with this bronze color called Jimmy. Wait, wait, juicy. <laughs> it's like Jimmy, that is such a weird name for an eyeshadow color, juicy. And for the brow highlight, major spotlight. Here's where this eye look gets dramatic. We're doing a very strong black winged liner. 
I'm using Gentry Kelly's Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Go slow on your eyeliner. I start on the outer corner and work my way in. And for the jewel tone makeup look, this is going to be a super smoked eye. So we're gonna rim, inner rim with black liner and then finishing it up with a smudge on the lower lash line of one of the green colors. My eyeliner is Bare Minerals by Onyx that we're going to now line the full inner rim on this jewel tone look. So your line will be thinner from the inner corner to about midway through. And then from there, you're going to thicken it, go higher to give it more definition on the outside part of the eye, angling up to the outer part of your eyebrow. Same on the other side. So for this look, the same brush that I used on my lids, when I did All of Me, I'm going to use that exact same brush, same color, and now smudge here on the lower lash line. Trying to get even eyes with this is always tricky. Then I'm gonna use a thinner brush, pop a little bit more of that green in the same spots, both inner and outer. And now work your way back to the inner corner. Going lower and thinner. They look pretty even. Let it dry. I'm going to top line just the upper lash line with Bare Minerals Minimalist Eyeliner in Black Onyx. Just running underneath the top lash line. And then just meeting that wing out to the side. Just brush out the lashes. For you, your extra step here might be, if you don't have extensions, to do mascara, to do a lash strip, or uh, the magnetic lashes, whichever you prefer. Time to conceal the Deal NARS Radiant Cream Color Corrector in Peach, I will start with. It takes care of the blue and purple discoloration. I just focus primarily under the tear trough where I notice most of that blue and purple pigmentation. To finish it off, Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. You can get really precise with concealer and again, get those lines nice and even out to the side. Set it and forget it with Pat McGrath Labs. This goes under the eye. Sometimes with all that inner rim lining, you may need an eye drop like Lumify, which immediately gets your eyeballs neon white. This is a nice mattifying foundation, but if you need a little bit of extra powder, of course, Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, my gold standard. I'll just dust it with a brush. Okay. 
So the difference in powder for me in this look is I will be using Laura Mercier's Translucent Loose Powder, but this particular one is in Glow. So it has a little bit more of an iridescence to it. I'm going for a full face of iridescence in this look. Lots of shine, lots of glimmer, lots of glam. Kind of goes with the gold lame that I'm wearing. All makes sense. And again, I'm focusing primarily on the forehead, the cheek, chin, tip and nose. So the blush kit I'm using is NARS Orgasm on the Beach. What I love about it is you have blush, but you also have contour and highlight included in this palette. So we'll use a mixture of these to create sort of a bronzy look, but a little bit of a shimmer and a little bit of a cheek color. I too am using the deep bronze color for my cheekbone. Cheekbone and higher, no farther than the outer corner of the eye and up. And warming up the forehead for a sun kiss glow. It has a nice iridescence to it, which is picking up on the iridescence on the eyelid. Because we used a little bit of that peachy iridescence on the lid, I will use this color far left, which has a bit of a peach to it, right up here by the eye. Time to highlight the areas of the face that you want to be pronounced. Forehead, tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and right here on the cheeks. Going in with this top left highlight color and a fan brush by Gentry Kelly. So as you can see, we have a pop of iridescence going everywhere. Now it's time to add a creamy matte finish with the red lipstick. For me, the biggest difference with the jewel toned eye is I'm going for a very nude lip. I will use NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle, probably my all time favorite nude lip liner. Going to keep the lip nude and then pop in a little bit of gold shimmer on top. I will line my lips with Urban Decay Bad Blood lip liner. I like more of a blurred effect than a border, so I just soften. Go in a little bit. Lipstick color, Angel Alessandra by Charlotte Tilbury. Need to get some more because I'm practically out. It's one of my favorite nudes. My lipstick choice is by Laura Mercier, Rouge Essential, Rouge Ultime, the perfect red. So to really dial up the shimmer, back to the blush palette, the lightest color gold, just take my ring finger, go in, dot in the center of the lip, up top, and even slightly above. So you get that shimmery pout and you've got the iridescence tying in with everything else on your face. And here is your holiday glam party look for 2021. And this is my jewel toned holiday makeup look. By the way, I used emeralds, but you can use blues, lilacs, 
any kind of jewel tone that fits you, your skin color, your eye color, have fun with that. Also, maybe what you're wearing. For me, the kind of green and gold ties into my eye color and of course the gold lame dress. Two holiday makeup looks to try this year. Two completely different looks. One amazing outcome. So whether you go for the old Hollywood glam or the jewel toned, I hope you have fun in the process. Again, all products listed in the description portion so you can easily find them or you can replicate them at home. I wish you a beautiful holiday season. I wish you some fun parties and an opportunity to dial it up. Go out, be bold and be blessed, and I'll see you next Thursday at one o'clock. Bye.